one. Yes. Can we use that one? Okay, third graders, we had a, a question about if we could use this one. How many tiles did I use? Three. Uh, Pentomino has how many tiles? Five. Five. So I didn't give you one of the answers. You can use this to start with. Think about how many more tiles do you have left? Two. two. Where could you place this on? You already have three. You can put the other two tiles somewhere on there. Okay, just to give you an example, does anybody have an idea where we could place the other two and that way everybody has the a first pentominum? Where could you put the other ones? Mario, do you want to come up here and do it? There we go. Okay, so there's one example. Thanks, Mario. This is one of your 12, so you have 11 more to make. Okay. Each small square represents one of these. If you draw, color them in that that size, you're not going to have enough. So, what, what shape with your blocks were you thinking to draw on the table? Can you build it from right here? What were you thinking about? One, two, three. So you're going to go one, two, three over and then down two. It's just going to be a smaller version of what you have. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. What am I measuring when I measure here? You can multiply to find it, but what part of my shape do I want to find if I'm finding the area? It's the inside. I want you to take your hands like this. Okay? You ready? Okay, so area is the space inside an object. I want you to say that in Area is the space inside an object. Okay, what is area? Inside an object. Where, what is perimeter? Outside. Okay, so you're going to take your fingers and say the perimeter is the distance outside an object. And you can measure the perimeter in inches or feet or yards or miles. Okay, each one of these is one inch. It's important that we use the units. So the area is the space inside and the perimeter is the distance outside. Okay? Not that outside, even though that's a fun place to. Okay, so we have the T, right? I want us to find the area. Write the letter A on your board. Remembering that the area is the space inside the object. Okay. Look at your T. I wanted to find the space inside. What would I need to do? Think about what you need to do. I'm hearing the word count. I can use the word multiply or something. I see adding. I hear adding. Okay. Remind me your name. Valeria. Tell me why you wrote two plus three. That's a sleepy one. All right. So she has two plus three equals five. Did anybody do it a different way? You might accidentally put one there. So I have one, two, three. I'm going to go around the corner. And I have two going down. See if you can go finish the rest of the shape. And what did you figure out as your perimeter? So you want to go in the middle of each one. So you want to put one there, one in the middle of that next square, and one in the middle of the next square. You see the difference? Because otherwise...
Look what you wrote. I was supposed to have a What did you write for the party? Yeah. Yeah. So, so what should it be? Mario. So if you have all these marks, you took your number is smaller than the amount of marks. Remember, it's the distance around it. Okay? So let's count these. One. I know. Okay. So I need Justin, I want you to tell her what she needs to do to hers. It's the same thing that you did. But now we're doing a different part. What part did she forget? Yeah. When you go around the corner, you have to get all three sides. If I look at all of our different shapes, do they all have the same area? Yeah. Is yours 60? Is mine 60? Everybody's the 60? Okay. Is everybody's perimeter the same? Why are you assuming no? Because everybody's every shape. Okay. All right. Let's take all of our pieces and kind of put them in a pile. And I want you to take two, two tiles. It doesn't, it doesn't matter which ones you do. I'm going to take the T and the Y. Let's take the T and the Y. Let's just do that. And then, but we don't have to. We can arrange them differently. T and Y. That's N. Give me someone's name. Ty. Oh, I think about how you could. Here's one. If you have it, go ahead and put them together some way. No matter how you put them together. Come this way. No, yeah, However you want. No empty spaces. And what we're going to do is figure out the perimeter of our shape. Okay? And we're also going to figure out the area. So write the letter A. A stands for what? And the P stands for? So since I have two pentominoes and each pentomino is worth five, what would I what would I know for the, without having to go one, two, three, four, five times two? There you go. Okay. See if you can do it. Yes, you're right. What would be a way that you could put those two tiles to make the smallest perimeter possible? Okay, you think so? You think there's another way you could do it? I haven't played around with it. Just see what you can come up with. Find the perimeter of that one. Okay. See what you can do with yours to make the, the smallest perimeter that's possible. Okay. I want you to write down why you think that it, that they change. Okay. Think about why do you you have the same area for both of them? Both of them were ten. This time, the first time you got this perimeter, and this time you got this perimeter. What was the determining factor? What made it different? And you add it up. What would the perimeter be, Mira? What did you get? Twenty-two. And these two guys, when they they tried to figure out the big, the smallest perimeter that they had, and they figured out the smallest one was what? Sixteen. Sixteen. So it really depends on how you put your pentominoes together. What were you thinking the reason was? Because the first pentomino, the top was extended longer. Okay. All right. So you made more of a long line. So the longer it is, you're thinking the 
the perimeter would be longer. So if it's smaller this way, what happens to the perimeter? Okay, so as the shape gets smaller, the perimeter smaller, as the shape gets longer, the perimeter will get longer. All right, so when you're, and Ms. Duren's gonna put these in a station later. So some of these, these, these are the task cards that go along with this. So for this one, you would take these three pentominoes and you have to figure out what the area would be and what the perimeter would be, kind of like what we just did today.